Photography gear is expensive. And the last thing you wanna do is waste a ton of money on gear that you just never end up using. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my favorite photography gear that I use at almost every single wedding and gear that's found its way into my wedding photography camera bag. And I'm gonna start right now. Now, we're not gonna be talking about cameras and lenses in this video because the likelihood you already own that. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the all important accessories. The stuff that makes your day run smoother and your photos just that little bit better. So let's kick this video off talking about camera bags. Now, if you followed my channel for any length of time, you'll know that I love my Pelican case. I currently own the Peli 1535 Air, and it basically fits all of my important camera gear in there, from my cameras to lenses to SD cards, basically anything really, really important goes in my Pelican case. The problem is, it can't fit everything. It can't fit a tripod, can't fit light stands, can't fit my flash guns, or any of my fractal filters. So where do I put that? Well, previously I put it in this kind of long light stand bag and it was all right, but it was getting a bit worse for wear and it still didn't fit absolutely everything. So I ended up bringing a third bag and then things just start getting a bit unwieldy. I've only got two arms and I can't carry three bags at the same time. It started to get a little bit annoying. So I needed a solution, which is why I've gone ahead and been able to get hold of this. This is the Manfrotto Pro Light Cine Loader. I just wanna say thank you for Manfrotto for sending me this for this review. Now I love this bag for so many reasons. It really fits into my workflow really well. Firstly, it's a really big bag, so you can fit a ton of accessories in there. I can easily fit light stands on the top. It's got this kind of top strap as well as a tripod. Inside I can fit my flash guns. I can fit a bunch of cables in there. I can fit basically everything I need for a wedding in this one bag apart from obviously cameras and lenses, which obviously fit in my Pelican case. But the big reason I really like this bag is how well it fits into my workflow. Reason is, it's got this little strap at the back, which means it can fit over my Pelican case or fit on top of my Pelican case really easily. As well, it's just a really tough bag. You've also got a padlock on the side, so if you do want to lock it and slide it under a table, you pretty much can do. Now, this bag here is on the expensive side, but is, I personally think it is definitely worth it, and I absolutely love it. It does come in three sizes, small, medium, and large. You know me, I've gone for the large one just because I need that room. I just bring unnecessary amounts of camera equipment, and I'm gonna need someone to put it, so this bag is absolutely perfect. Now, as a wedding photographer working in 2024, you're not just simply a photographer. You wear a ton of different hats. You are a social media marketer, you're an influencer, you're an accountant, you're everything. So it means you need to capture some behind the scenes. And something that I actually really like is this. This is the Insta360 X3. Now this is a great little bit of kit for basically capturing behind the scenes. And I've used it for, well, last season is when I brought it. And I used it quite a few times, although I definitely wanna use it more this year. Basically what it does is I brought this little contraption, fits onto a cold shoot, fits on top of your camera, and it just allows you to capture behind the scenes. Maybe when you're doing confetti shots or maybe when you're walking down the aisle or something like that. And then you can post that to social media and it just shows you, it can basically, is a way of promoting your business, showing you not just the nice photos that you take, but also how you work, maybe how you talk to the clients, how you interact with guests and things like that. So yeah, if you haven't got something like this yet, I would highly recommend buying one. It doesn't have to be about the Insta360 or anything like that. GoPro, for example, is probably a good example, or you could actually buy one for your phone. I just really like this one because it captures a full 360 degree view. So I can get shots of me, as well as shots of the guests mingling and stuff like that. And I can add it into a video. Now, you might notice that this is actually cracked. The screen is broken. It still works, it's just the screen's broken. I took it last year to Utah for my Utah trip, got some a ton of kind of little snippets and stuff that I've used throughout my uh, YouTube videos, but I did drop it while doing a time lapse. So if you do own something like this, probably recommend getting a screen protector just so you don't break it like I have. Now filters are a great way to add a little bit more creativity to your photo shoot and they work really well for weddings. Now the ones that I've got is these. These are a set of three fractal filters. And basically what they do is you put them in front of the lens. Uh, these ones you don't have to screw on, they've got like a little holding bit 
although I've got to admit that does look like a knuckle duster, hold it in front and basically allow light to kind of prism around and create this really cool fractal effect. Now, it works really well when you've got some kind of light source, some kind of flaring source in your shot. So it works really well at sunset, for example, when you're pointing it directly at the sun or around Christmas time. These work really well with like little Christmas lights. Now this here, you get a set of three. So you've got uh, a Pac-Man looking one, you've got this big glass prismy one, and then probably my favorite out of all, you've got this like circular one. And basically what it does is create these really cool effects. Now again, you're not gonna be using them at every single wedding. Some weddings warrant it more than others but you don't want to be stuck without them because that one time you'll be like, oh, that's a really cool shot. I wish I had my filters. You're going to want them on you. So what I've done is I've attached basically a little carabiners so I can attach it to me, maybe on my belt or on my on my harness. So I've always got them with me. Plus, they're a little bit of a talking piece. People come up to you and go, oh, what's that? And then you can explain to them, oh, they're this. I, I'm a really creative photographer. I do this, that and the other. So yeah, filters in general are a really cool way to add just a little bit more creativity. They don't have to be fractal filters. Maybe they could be a mist filter or a circular polarized filter or a colored filter. These ones are about, I think, 90 quid. I'll place a link in the description where I've got them. I've got them from a company called Rigu, uh, which do really cool, a whole range of accessories. But yeah, these are really cool if you just want to add a pinch of creativity. All I'd say is just don't drop them because they are crystal glass. Now, buying the right camera harness as a wedding photographer is really important. Forget about what camera, what lens, what SD cards. You're going to have to carry all that stuff all day. So getting one that's comfortable, that works for super long hours, especially one that's a dual camera harness, that, in my opinion, is really important, which is why I've gone ahead and brought myself this, and this is the Holdfast Moneymaker. Thanks, Drew, for letting me know about this brand really, really good, well-made camera harness. Now this one's got the dual camera harness, so you can place a, a camera on both, which for me is really important. I usually shoot on prime lenses, although I'm starting to kind of migrate into the zoom lenses, I must admit. But yeah, really comfortable, but the big benefit is this one looks good. It's got this really nice leather. You don't have to buy leather. I think they do um, non-leather versions. But yeah, looks really good, really well-made, and is super comfortable. Three big bonuses for a wedding day. Brilliant, and here we go guys. That is a list of my favorite accessories that I always seem to bring with me on a wedding day. Now I just wanna say thank you to Manfrotto for sponsoring this video. If you want to learn more about the ProLite Cine Loader, I'll make sure to place the link in the description. And don't forget they do a small, medium, and large. I've obviously got a large, because I always seem to bring unnecessary amounts of camera equipment. And of course, write down in the comments below, are there any accessories that I haven't talked about in this video that you always bring to a wedding? Make sure to write it down in the comments below. I've been James for Photo Fever, and I'll catch you guys next time.